Hey YouTube, it's me again, 301 Steady, and today I'm just making a real quick video on why I'm finally changing out my knuckles. So here's the uh, the new one, the driver side that I'm going to be replacing, and there's the old one, the passenger side, and I'm just showing you real quick what kind of crazy stuff we do. <laughs> but anyway, so. This uh, this uh, caliper bolt, it, the uh, the knuckle is stripped out. It's been like that for years. <laughs> so what I do is I I drilled a uh, hole through the bolt head and I actually safety wired it. It's been like that for years. And this one's not, but that was just you know because that's the only thing really holding it. So I went ahead and did the same thing. But that's not the reason I'm finally replacing the knuckles. The reason I'm finally replacing the knuckles is because you see the uh, okay here's the uh, caliper there's the pads right they tell you to to lube that portion up but you see how it's 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 kind of wore a groove in there that's not good there you see that right there really bad so when you squeeze on the brakes you step on the brakes the pad can bind in there and then uh, you're not getting any braking action at all or very minimal anyway so how it got that way was the rotors were uh, so warped that uh that they were moving the whole the you know the pads back and forth back and forth so much that it wore out the knuckle right there so when i replaced the rotor and also the uh the heat shield was grinding and I was just yanking it away from the heat shield but it was you know it was still making noise as, as much as it could and actually the part of the heat shield broke off somewhere in here where the heck is it I found a little piece that had jammed up yeah it's it's uh, it's it's on this table somewhere and then it jammed up inside the uh, between the pad and the rotor and it was just constantly making noise so anyway so I had a Put some new rotors on, new pads. Anyway, but uh, when I did that, I, I realized this is not good. So the knuckle completely needed to be replaced. So uh, what was it, about two, three weeks ago, I had some stuff to do. I had to place them on order. I got them. And now I finally made some time to, to change out the knuckles. And uh, as you see on the, the passenger side, passenger side also has has that, that wore out groove in there. So I had to replace that. This uh, thread was okay. Same thing with this one so for the calipers. So, but uh, this is what it should look like. When you look here, you shouldn't see any, any grooves on here. In fact, they actually tell you to lube it right there so it, your pads can slide easily back and forth on these uh, surfaces. But it was so wore down that it had carved out a groove on the uh, on the other knuckles. So that's actually why I finally replaced and I'm replacing the knuckles. Up later on, I'll get this done later on today. I'm not going to show it on video, but uh, you you get the the idea of why and what you should look for when you're changing your brakes, and uh, you know just help you be safe out there it, it probably would have been okay for a few years until the pads wore down and then right back into that groove but uh yeah that's not good also <laughs> the cotter the safety wire bolt in there that's not exactly good either but it, you know it, it held together all these years so it wasn't too bad anyway that's all just giving you a quick update have a good one